You're non-binary. Yes. How old were you when you felt like you didn't fit into those categories of a boy or a girl? Yeah, I think my first instance of that was like grade one. Um, I'd always wear the boys' uniform. You know, all my friends were the dudes and we'd play footy and play in the mud and trucks and stuff and play with Pokemon cards. And I remember coming to school one time in grade one and the boys said, you can't sit with us because you're a girl. And then I remember being like, yeah, but I'm just like all of you. Like, I'm the exact same. We do the same stuff. They're like, no, you're a girl. You can't sit with us. So then I went in to hang out with the, the girls on the other side of the classroom and then they said, no, you can't hang out with us because you're a boy because I had little short hair and was in the boys' uniform. You know, now being educated on what it is to be non-binary, like my whole childhood makes so much sense that I was thinking all these things and I was so confused as a kid, but now I'm educated on it. I'm like, I've, I've felt non-binary my whole life. I just wasn't educated or knew what it was. You had the words for it. Yeah. What was your family's reaction when you shared with them that you were non-binary? Yeah, I feel like coming out queer and gay was really easy for my parents. They were just like, oh, yeah, you want spaghetti for dinner? You know, it was <laughs> really, really moving like... Moving on? Yeah, moving on. It was really, like, not a big deal. Um, me coming out non-binary was a little bit harder for them to wrap their heads around. Just because of representation, they didn't know much about it. They didn't really understand. It hadn't been talked about much, I feel like, in Australian media. Mm. So my parents really struggled with it and didn't get it. But now they're starting, like, in the last six months, they're getting my pronouns right. They're really trying hard to get it right. Um, and they're understanding it. And, and even my dad, he called me the other day and he's like, so my mate asked me, you know, is G your daughter or your son? And... I was like, what'd you say, Dad? He's like, well, I made up my own word for you. You're my Dawson, <laughs> a daughter and a son. And I just thought, I almost wanted to cry. I thought it was the cutest thing. And yeah. I was like, thanks, Dad. Yeah, I'm your Dawson. But yeah, my parents did, they struggled. But it's, it's you know, representation matters. Just the more representation, the more people are going to understand and absorb it and, you know, get their heads around it. But it's really not that complicated. I no. think a lot more people find it so much more intense than it actually is. 